really excited. I ordered some Golem Jade cuttings and I have um, cute little pots to put them in. Um, before we start, I wanted to give you an update about the last video I did. I rescued a cactus pad from Whole Foods and uh, within the week the top part turned brown and shriveled up. I think it was dehydrated. So I wanted to let you know that it has been torrentially rained upon. So my three week period of waiting to water it hasn't really worked out. Um, but it's looking good. Uh, but you can do this with a puntia. You can cut across the pad. Uh, the top will heal off and new pads will eventually grow once this plant has established roots. So there's a little update for you. Um, it had to be trimmed down and it is also wet. So I'm going to make sure that it is in the sun the next few days. Let that dry out a little bit so that, that the bottom of the pad is not going to be sitting in water. And um, I think we've had probably had about 45 days of straight rain. We've had some sunshiny periods, but I, I really believe in global warming because when I was a child in the 70s, we had to conserve our water and we had water rations and we had rules about how much water we can use. And now we have so much water, um, you know, we, we can't handle it. So I definitely believe in global warming, at least around here. So that is how that one is doing. But let me get to the unboxing, which I'm really excited about. This came in the mail yesterday. I opened the top up to make it easy. And right away, it's well packaged. I always like to see, you know, bubble wrap and nice packaging around the plants. And I am a big Prisula fan. So let me get down in here. Oh, they're so cute. So these are Golem Jade. Sometimes they're called E.T.'s Fingers. Aren't they adorable? So there's one. And they do feel a little bit dehydrated. I have a feeling this was a very hot week. So I have a feeling they went through some hot weather. There's another one. I think I'll just lay them out on the plastic. My table's all wet from the torrential rains we've been experiencing pretty much non-stop this summer. Here's another one. They're really adorable. They look like little uh, E.T.'s fingers. Sometimes they're called that. And here's a, another one here. So there's four already. And this was an eBay listing for five but it looks like they have sent seven. And uh, many times I have found that these eBay sellers will put an extra one in, which I think is very nice. Uh, I guess they want to make sure that you end up with, you know, at least five. So I have gotten seven. So there aren't too many there's not really good stems to set in there, but I'm going to set them into the soil. I'm going to remove a couple of the lower leaves. And uh, I should let them dry out a little bit, but if I put them in dry soil, it should be okay. And Jade really does uh, root very quickly. So I'm going to add a little bit of my rooting hormone. Just take a couple of these off. And the reason you do want to let these normally callus over once you pull a leaf off, let me even pull that whole set of leaves off, is that you do not want bacteria to get in there. So you want it to callus over. But it will do that in most cases in dry dirt. You just don't want to put it in wet dirt. So I'm going to give that a try in these. Just take off a few of the leaves. The bottom area is calloused over. And if you're really patient, you can also root some of these leaves if you get a clean leaf cutting. 
So I'm going to dip those. I'm going to dip those guys right in some rooting hormone. Looks like I need to buy some more, but this is this is what I use. Uh, I have it on hand. Rooting powder. I believe it's called Bon Tone. And that is just going to help facilitate the rooting. And for these guys, I'm just going to put some cactus, palm, and citrus potting mix. Um, just because I know it's going to be a well-draining mix, which succulents appreciate. So I'm going to fill these up. And I'm just going to plant a couple on camera so you can see how that goes. And I'll plant the rest up when I turn the camera off. But here's two pots of soil. There we go. And I will dip this in. These are beautiful little cuttings. And you just want to make sure that there's a little stem long enough to stick into the soil. That's where it's going to send out roots. This also helps it keep from getting any uh, bacterial infections. So I'll just sort of pop that into the center there. I'm being careful not to let any of the rooting hormone get brushed off by the soil. And there's one cutting. Let me pick another good one. This one's a good stem here, so I'll put that in. And I'm making sure to get this. You have to be careful not to get this on your hands, but I'm making sure to get it all over the bottom of the stem and over any areas where I've pulled the leaf off and I'll pop that one in and this is the perfect time of year to do it because plants do need heat to send out roots they need warmth so they will go in the shade I hope you could see what I was doing there I just popped them in there after dipping them in some rooting hormone so there's two of them potted up and I'm going to go ahead and pop the rest of them up the same way. Put them in the shade and very, very lightly mist them for a couple weeks uh, until they have a root system. And that's when you start to water them. You have to be very sparing with the water until you have some indication that they've sent out roots. Because the plant won't draw up any water until it has roots. So there you go guys, those are my new Golem Jade cuttings and I'm going to have a great time potting those up. So thanks for tuning in, listening to my little rant about global warming. Uh, maybe you're experiencing the same rains or maybe the opposite, but things have definitely changed in the decades that I've been around. So thanks so much for tuning in, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and I hope you're having fun in your gardens. Bye!